Hey, what's going on, guys? Back at the tabletop, and today we're talking about prepping because I think, like I've always thought, uh, it's a very important thing. It pays to be a prepper. We're seeing that now with ammo. We've seen it with the toilet paper, with the cleaning supplies, with the yada, 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 and... uh it is what it is, people, and I do these videos to remind you guys out there, there are simple, easy solutions that are available, um, things you can learn, things you can acquire, uh, knowledge, skills most importantly, but the tangible goods definitely help out. Uh, sometimes without tangible goods, like a firearm and ammunition, there's no way to protect your food and water or your family or your property. If we're talking total grid down scenario, there's certain things that you really have to consider. It's not a game anymore. I'm not trying to be Alex Jones. I'm not trying to fear monger. Uh, I just want people to be prepared because we don't know what exactly this dark winter that Joe Biden and other people keep talking about. So, Food reserves, okay, and not even just in this specific format. This is more of you're in the woods, you have this with you in a day pack or something like that. You could also stock up on these, but I'll tell you what, you're gonna get you're gonna get real sick and tired of eating that uh, for your meal every day. <laughs> Supplemental at best, but something as simple as this. Uh, this is literally a mere sampling. Uh, of what's out there so being prepared food water beans bullets band-aids okay we we cover all these things individually we cover them together and uh, this specifically food and water this is a good little example of something you can you can keep some of these in your car you can keep them in a bug out bag an edc bag your purse if you're a female uh you know around the house stocked up to whatever degree you want this specific uh brand right here of survival tablets uh, in case you guys don't even know what this is, this is a sample pack of uh, some food reserve survival tablets. So just in case, a regular bottle contains 15 days food supply and it weighs under 2 pounds. These are basically like little tiny chalky vitamin style tablets. Here is all the nutrition facts on it. And, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So you'd eat six of these, that's a serving. There's 33 servings per container, typically, uh, and then you, you've got all your, your facts and, uh, you know, all that stuff. So they're, they're just little, little tiny tablets, and they're packed with all the stuff that you need to get you by uh, and survive so you don't die of starvation, your body doesn't shut down. Now, this is definitely better when you have actual food to go with it or just using this in like an emergency only kind of condition this is not something you want to live off of i don't know how healthy that would be and i don't recommend it but on the back here we can pause and read if you want and uh, you can read all that it's basically just got the ingredients and then a description of of what it is and so it's foodreserves.com there is all their information this was sent to the local gun shop that i work at as like a sample uh you know potentially like hey buy our products stock our products sell our products kind of thing and uh that's cool that's cool i definitely have come across stuff like this i don't know if it was the same brand but stuff like this these little survival tablets in the past i do have some i don't know exactly how how long they're good for it is survival style uh food and there's not much to it and there's nothing you know it's completely dehydrated so you know i've got maybe uh a jug of these things laying around somewhere that I bought to try out so you know I, I will look into getting more of those because they are nice if you're out hunting camping whatever hiking and uh, God forbid you know just a normal everyday instance that we see or read about or you know here on the news somebody gets lost you got to survive you're stuck you know somewhere in the wilderness Having this, when you might not be able to hunt or fish or maybe you're injured, having this on your body, in a pocket, on your pack, whatever, um, that could really sustain you. That could mean the difference. So this isn't necessarily specific about this, although if you want to check them out, feel free. And like I said, I have used these things in the past. I do have a little bit on hand uh, besides this. This is just a sample, like I said. And um, I think they definitely serve a purpose, but just broadly and in generally, it's it's the time if you haven't started preparing by now people what are you doing um you know everybody oh he's playing 15 dimensional chess and he's going to swoop in and everything's going to be fine didn't happen been telling you guys that for a while um 
you have to look out for yourself and your family and the future of those things. So make sure you have some beans, bullets, and band-aids. Make sure you have the skill and the knowledge. Make sure you have the gear, the equipment, okay? Uh, buy the things, know how to use the things, and uh, that's it, guys. Please, prepare, stock up. You can still get canned goods. You can still get rice and beans. Look on YouTube. I could maybe even do a video myself. You put them into five-gallon buckets. Mylar Zip, John Willis with SOE just did a video. Go check out his video uh, about doing that stuff. Simple, easy stuff, guys, and it'll last damn near forever, um, at least for the foreseeable future, which seems a little bit suspect in my opinion here uh going forward so protect yourselves protect your community protect this country and, and and don't be a burden prepare be able to provide for yourself and your loved ones so others don't have to um and then whoever you feel responsible for give them a kick in the ass get them started help them out guide them if you're not a prepper in 2021 going forward You've lost your god dang mind. Thanks for watching, guys. Check the links in the description box below, especially, especially, especially the first three, um, because those are to help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights, which are uh, constantly, constantly under attack, especially cool guns like this with cool, I cool ammo, cool ammo, man, uh, that goes through a 3A level vest. They're always trying to ban stuff like that because how dare us be as well armed as the government uh, who's trying to control us. But it is what it is. Fight for your rights, people, or you're going to lose them. Make sure you got beans, bullets, and band-aids, uh, even if that means some epoxy to stitch a wound closed. Okay? Tools, tricks, tips. Subscribe, follow here for it all, and uh, terrible comedic relief in the meantime. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss another gem like this. And we'll catch you guys later. Peace!